Shooting, that's the point. Oh, oh hello. Dubois detonates the dynamite. The punches that Ergovic landed in the first four rounds would have knocked out many heavyweights in the division, but Dubois wasn't going to be denied this time. Ergovic was caught by a punch from Dubois over his right eye in the second. Seeing the blood seemed to encourage Dubois, who began unloading big shots and walking through the hard punches that Ergovic was landing without flinching. Where the fight turned was in the seventh, when an exhausting-looking Ergovic, bleeding from both eyes, was stunned by a right hand from Dubois. The fight ended quickly in the eighth round, with Dubois continuing to apply pressure and hammering the bloody and battered Hergovic with shots. The referee, seeing how Ergovic was defenseless, when the ringside doctor examined his cuts and the fight was then halted. The Briton started brightly, landing jabs and opening up with an excellent one-two. He moved Miller, who kept on trundling forward, but later he was getting himself drawn into the wrong fight with Miller, standing his ground and trading in a battle of strength. Miller was trying to grind Dubois down and scraped hooks across the Briton's chin. Holding his feet, working head, body well. Oh. Left. His hands down. Keep popping that jab in his face. Double, triple it up. Goes to Dubois. He's fighting with a lot of confidence here. He's a walking punch back right now. Literally. In the final round, Miller tried to dredge up more energy and more pace in his output, but Dubois stood him up with a right uppercut. He rocked Miller, driving him across the ring, hammering in huge shots. And in the final seconds of the fight, the referee stepped in to stop Miller. Pushing this man's heart. Division. Pushing Miller back. Big right hand. You gotta believe he's got nothing left as he eats another right in an uppercut. Oh, big shots from Dubois. Dynamite to Paul! The fight began with a dominant opening round for Dubois, who landed a couple of clean right hands, which his opponent did well to stand up to. Brian barely threw a punch in the first three minutes and appeared to land absolutely nothing of note. Round two saw consistent holding from the American and further attempts to break up the Brit's momentum. In the third, Dubois continued in control and made a breakthrough with a big left hook. Dubois knew he had little to fear in round four and so pushed his assault further. Another left hook sent Brian stumbling back into the ropes and the writing was on the wall. Not long later, Dubois landed a third big left hook which proved to be the final punch of the fight. It sent Brian crashing face down to the canvas with the referee waving off the contest as a result. They're very close together, almost like second round, which has been another good one. Tropical storm that passed through as well. I think they've had to deal with 
a bit of flooding in the arena, one or two leaks and all that kind of thing. But Not all the time, but he, 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 his job is popping out. Yeah, it, that's lovely. That's a great shot by Dubois that has Brian going backwards. And he's so Dubois looking to let the punches go for the first time in the fight, really. Trying to mix it up between head and body, the left hook finding the... He, still, he covers up well and he's, he's pretty hard to nail clean. Detonates the dynamite onto the chin of Trevor Brown. Daniel Dubois is the WBA regular heavyweight champion of the world with a stunning knock. Dubois knocked Garmin down with a chopping right hand in the third round. Gorman fought well after getting back to his feet. He clipped Dubois with a hard left hand when he was attempting to finish him off. Dubois knocked Gorman to the canvas with a hard right hand in the fifth round. Well, when he leans back, oh, good right hand there from Dubois. He bossed a lot of them. Well, he's not bossing the boxing, oh, yeah, that's the point. Oh, oh hello. Well, he certainly is. And he's out. He's been counted. In round one, Dubois caught Darch with a right hand that put him down on the canvas late in the round. In round two, Dubois knocked Darch out. After another knockdown, Darch got to his feet once again. As soon as the action started, Dubois knocked Darch down for a third time in the round. Caught by another right hand, and down he goes. He's again looked at one, two, and again. Oh, I think that might be it. Darch is about to go the same way. Massive right hand.